It is the first week of January. I'm back in the gym. Sergey's away in Serbia. He's actually meeting his uh, granddaughter, which is really exciting for him. The winter training for me was really good and I've come through it unscathed. I'm not injured, I'm healthy and I'm ready to go for 2019. I kind of my first session was a couple of days ago and I just felt I had a sense that day that I got it bang on. So I had just the right amount of rest. I uh, spent some time with friends and family and I had I did just the right amount of training so that I wasn't overtired when I started the year. So the last three days have been really good. I felt really good in the gym. The only little issue I've got is just a bit of a tight calf, but I'm managing that well and it's getting better each week now. But yeah, I'm on six pieces. It's 2019. I'm super excited for what's to come. I want to say a massive thank you to you guys for all the support in 2018. Six months of hard work and uh, we had the video that came out last Wednesday that's done really well. So that was really exciting. It was a really fun video to do. So massive thanks to Niall for that one. And today we've got some skills we're going to, we're going to almost tick off. I've ticked them off before Christmas, but you guys haven't seen them. Uh, they're the last ones to go. We're nearly at that 51, ready to start routine. So yeah, we're going to have a good session. So the two skills on pommels that I'm working on, I've done them both already. Uh, and flare elements. So these two for me were the hardest to get back on pommel horse on my shoulder, just because of the amount of stability they require in them shoulders. When you're doing a normal circle, it kind of stays down here when you lace it together. When you're doing flares, it's this wide, and a lot of the time you're just on that one arm, and there's a lot of weight going through that one arm. So I didn't have the stability in my shoulders to take that load. As now I do, but I need to do lots of repetitions because it takes a long time to get that skill consistent, particularly the one where I go up to handstand and come back down again. That's a skill where if something's a little bit wrong, it's off straight away. So you gotta do loads and loads of reps of it. So on that one, I was off, so I did an extra turn. There's loads of really tiny little technical details on that skill. So it takes a long time to have done enough repetitions to break it down into so many parts that you get all those parts right in order. You've almost got to do like, I don't know, 50, 60 times before you can then, you might do five and then you can start working on the first bit. You do the next five, you can work on the second bit, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, till you get them all in the right order every single time and you feel confident, so. That's why it's ranked, the difficulty on that skill is really high on pommels. And that's why, because it's one of the most challenging skills to do, especially under pressure. It's one of them skills where when the variables change, when you're put under pressure, you know, you might be waiting for five, ten minutes for the judges. You're up there on podium, you're feeling a little bit cold, there's 10,000 people watching. That's, this is like one of the skills where it's going to be the first ones where something goes wrong. So you have to have done so many repetitions, so you're so confident in it. And your ability to do the skill under pressure. Yeah. That's why I love it. I 
nice enough today. So I did an extra flare in between the spindle, it needs to be connected, but it's good enough for today. It's pretty cold and I don't wanna, I need to move on to the next piece. So the bar routine that I'm doing is the same routine I was doing for the second half of last year. It's the five releases at the start, the Markov, the Coleman, the Tuk Kovac, straight Kachev, straddle Kachev half. So out in Germany at the last con, I missed that straddle half. The only change is that I'm gonna try and connect the straight Kachev and the straddle Kachev half. Uh, so that obviously improves the difficulty, but it improves the risk as well. Um, so yeah, today I'm gonna try and do that, tick that off. So, skills on P-bars that were the hardest for me. Obviously the straddle front catching here, you can see it's like taking two baseball bats to your arms. And then the Hummer at the start, uh, but they're both completely pain free now. I'm just getting used to doing them on a regular basis so my pecs are really tight. So I just have to be very careful that they're not getting too tight and I'm overworking them because then it's going to pull on my shoulder and then the whole thing just kind of falls apart. So it's just doing enough but not too many that I'm overdoing it. So that was a really good session. I'm really happy with the first week of January. Next week, I'm off to Little Shore to train with the GB guys, which is gonna be awesome. We're gonna catch up, have a good time, train hard. Now, make sure you're pressing that subscribe button because we've got loads of cool content coming. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. See you in the next one.